hey guys welcome to the channel and in today's tutorial we will be working on the data set of indian diabetes so before starting i am assuming that you guys are pretty comfortable with python and have some basic knowledge about ml algorithms so i have already downloaded the data set and the link to which is present in the description the video will be somewhat longer than all others as i will be coding everything from scratch so you guys can so that you guys are able to see the process and also you guys can code along with me if you want i'm using jupyter notebook and if you guys do not have jupyter or anaconda installed then you can use google collab as an alternative so without wasting much time let's get started so our first step will be importing all the libraries that we will be using throughout this project so we need to import pandas as pd numpy as np matplotlib.pyplot as plt seaborn as sns and sklearn with all its sub libraries Okay, so here K neighbors is KNN classifier. SVC is support vector classifier. Gaussian NB is knife bias classifier. And the last one is random voice classifier. So here Escalon and its libraries are used for like modeling purposes and uh, pre-processing of the data. The matplotlib and c1 libraries are used for the plotting purpose, graph plotting and for getting better insights of the data set. And pandas and numpy are used for basic manipulations in the data set so now we need the data set to work on so as it is in csv format so i will be using read underscore csv and we will print the shape of the data set along with some of it few of it a few of the entries as an example now i will be using the describe command I do this just because I want to see the range of each column that is the max and minimum values. And the info command will give the idea whether there are null values in the data set or not, which in our case is not present. Okay, so we don't have any null values. So we can move ahead to the plotting part where we are gonna plot some graphs for getting a better insight about the data set so first of all as this is a medical based data set i'm gonna see which columns are useful and which are not so for doing this i will be using mat plots for plotting the correlation between different columns in the data set when we display the correlation of a data set we might get values which are negative and for getting rid of those i'm going to square the correlation and i'll be showing uh, you how to display the correlation in a bit and now i'm going to add some basic labeling and formatting to the graph In this plot, the darker the color, the less related it is. We will be seeing the last row. Uh, 
and here we can see that pregnancies, blood pressure, skin thickness are least related. So we are not going to include these columns. So now we will plot separately for all the other columns. So first of all, for the dependent variable, which is the outcome, a simple bar plot will do the work. I think I have forgotten how to add a legend so uh, one minute okay I'll do it later so let's leave it for now and uh, next I'm gonna plot for the glucose which I will be using for which I will be using dish plot which is also known as a histogram and this will give me a range of glucose where the patients are most susceptible to being diabetic. Here I think the range is approximately of uh, 130 to 140. So to be honest, I hate the plotting part and uh, it's actually very boring so I'm gonna fast forward throughout the co the graph plotting part and the code is gonna remain the same, I'm gonna use uh, histograms only and if uh, you guys think that I should not do that in future videos do let me know in the comments and I will stop doing that. And uh, uh, do try plotting the histograms on your own as well. What we do here is go back, back, back. So I think now we are done with the plotting part and we will be separating the dataset into independent and dependent variables. This time instead of using ilock and lock function, I will be separating it by using drop function which will drop all the columns that I am mentioning here and will store the rest into the x variable in the form of numpy array and uh, the y will be separating i mean i will be separating y with the use of ilo function Earlier with describe, I noticed that there is a need for standard scaling due to the vast difference in the column value range. 
so first i will be creating test train variables with the test train split function and we will be doing the standard scaling after that So here I am performing the standard scaling. Okay, so now that we are done with standard scaling as well, we are completing, we are done with the pre-processing part. And now we will be proceeding to the modeling part. So now we are gonna implement the modeling part. And for that first, I'm gonna implement the KNN classifier. And for that, I'm gonna create an instance by the name kn underscore classifier and I'm gonna set neighbors is equal to 5 with metric n and p is equal to 2 p is equal to 2 represents uh, Euclidean distance and uh, because of which the distance between the nodes will be calculated by the Euclidean formula now I'm gonna fit the KN classifier using the training sets that is X train and Y train and once it's done now I'm gonna predict using the X test uh, set okay so now as the predicting part is completed now I'm gonna find the uh, confusion matrix for which I'm gonna import confusion matrix from sql1.matrix and confusion matrix and now I'm gonna create so now I'm gonna create cn underscore kn for confusion matrix and now I'm gonna print so now uh, so from this we can see that 10 a 7 plus 46 that is 153 values out of 154 are corrected uh, predicted or you can say classified correctly because of which it should give me the accuracy of approximately 99.9% .9 Yeah, sorry, 99.35%. And now um, for, for the second algorithm, we are going to implement support vector classifier or support vector machine. And for that, I'm going to choose the kernel to be linear and random state will be equal to zero. And uh, after that, I'm going to fit the SVC classifier using the training sets. Now for predicting, I'm gonna create svc underscore y underscore pred and I'm gonna uh, predict using the x test set and then I'm gonna create uh, the confusion matrix using the predicted set and the y test set. Okay, so here we can see that none of the values are false. I mean none of the value is uh, classified incorrectly so this is giving me 100% accuracy which is really good and the next one is the knife bias classifier for that I'm gonna use the Gaussian NB and uh, I'm gonna fit using the train sets and predict using the test set, x test sets once i have done the prediction part then i'll be uh, creating the confusion matrix uh, 
okay then now it is also giving me 100 percent accuracy which is also very good i mean perfect score are very rare to, see, to be seen in regression and classification problems and now for the random first classifier i'm gonna use number of estimators as 100 and then i'm gonna fit using the train sets and predict using the x test set and they should also give me an accuracy okay so it's also giving me an accuracy of 100 percent so as all of the classifier algorithms are almost equal most of them are 100 uh, they are producing right uh, correct output and uh, and we can add the result as follows as there is not much to write about so with this uh, uh, that's all from my side for this video and if you like the video then do like and comment and if you're not new to the channel then please do subscribe and press the bell icon for future notifications so thank you take care bye bye